Hey, good Sunday afternoon, everybody. Uh, First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. Update on the weather and the flooding, which has been really devastating across a big chunk of the foothills and back into the mountains. And even in the Charlotte area, we've had some heavy rain, but it's not been flooding yet. That could change, though, with any of these heavy downpours. If you've been out and about today, you know you get into one of these downpours. It really comes down real quickly. Let me show you the current radar here. I'm going to widen this out a little bit and kind of show you the loop here. And you can see we've got wave after wave of showers coming through. So unlike yesterday where we had a big long break in the middle of the day, um, last evening we had the storms move in and they kind of been on and off throughout the overnight and through today. That's kind of going to be the pattern. There's not a lot of breaks in the pattern today. There will be breaks though, an hour maybe, or maybe two hours in between some of these waves, but it's the per persistence of this that's causing all the issues. So let me uh, stop this real quickly here, and I'll show you the flood warning, which is still in effect. And pretty much everybody here um, in the foothills and mountains, you're still under a flood warning um, for a long time. I mean, just treat this whole area as a giant flood warning because pretty much the entire location right here um, that you're looking at from the mountains all the way down to about here has just seen a tremendous amount of rainfall. In fact, um, let me show you that here. I'm going to bring this up here in a second but let me pop this up just for a second to show you some of the damage reports that I'm getting in and if you haven't seen these pictures they're they're just they're stunning um, sent to me from Stephen Cook you could see the flood damage from his drone um, this is in upper Burke County you can see the water coming over the dam look at all the debris um, coming downstream I mean that is a lot of water folks and any amount of rain now on top of this is going to cause water to come up. So we could actually get lighter rain that could cause additional flooding. Um, again, I'm going to post all these pictures on my Facebook page if you haven't seen some of these. Uh, thanks again to Stephen Cook. Um, he's done an amazing job sharing these with us. You can see a lot of the roads washed out. That's why you turn around, don't drown. You don't know if the road is there. Um, again, just a crazy amount of water. You can see the water. Uh, coming over the falls here and you're going to see a lot of this everybody along the Catawba chain get ready because there's going to be some heavy rain coming downstream so here's a look at the rainfall and again here's the chart here notice across Charlotte we've seen generally around an inch and a half to about two and a half to three inches in some pockets I'll zoom in closer here there's been a couple swaths from western Union County up through Mint Hill and Charlotte and another one down here but this is where the problems are um, everywhere you're seeing blue that's at least five inches and then the light blue gets up to about 10 inches so uh, some areas in here are approaching a foot of rain so just an unbelievable amount of rain in the last three days and uh, the rivers are just all off the charts right now um, look out Shoals Dam right here earlier um, I, sh I just posted this on, on my Facebook page set a record crest this morning the old record was set um, or at least the oldest record we know is back in 1940, but that record is kind of in question. But um, the record in 2004 is definitely been broken. We'll have to see if this actually stands, but that's the second highest crust in 80 years. Um, just in an un unbelievable amount of water. Um, and then you look at some of these other creeks and streams up here again, along the entire Catawba chain. Um, this is the Yatkin River. Um, let me go up here. I'm going to move the map a little bit. The Johns um, River. Look at that. I mean, that's just unbelievable how high these are. So these are all going to crest and all that water is going into the Catawba chain. So it's just a matter of time um, before we see that move into the Catawba chain and cause additional issues. So again, additional rain is coming. Um, we showed you the loop here. I'll loop this a couple times. What I'm going to do is pull up the short range future cast to kind of show you um, that there's more rain coming in. And again, it doesn't have to look as ominous or scary as the last two days because everything's full and soaked. So it doesn't take as much rain now to cause additional issues. So let me turn the radar off here real quickly. And what I'm going to do is while you're watching, uh, I'm going to load up the short range rapid refresh model, which we run every hour. So this actually gets updated pretty frequently. Let me load it and it'll load as as I'm talking to you. So you'll see the frames loading in here and you could see how things will unfold this afternoon. So we're hour 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So there it is. So let me back this up. Okay, and that's basically going through the afternoon. That's two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five, six, seven, maybe a break this evening, which would be nice. Um, and then we go into tonight and some, some more scattered stuff. So the good news is, the stuff is at least more scattered um, and that heavy rain band doesn't look to be setting up right over us like it did last night. 
but again, more rain on the way. As you can see on the wider view here, that upper low is sitting over Nashville still. We haven't seen it move much. So until that exits, which is going to take another 24 to 36 hours, the threat for heavy rain is going to continue. So please be, please be careful out there today. If you live in the mountains and foothills and Interstate 40 corridor, we're thinking about you. Please be safe. Do not venture on the roads if you don't have to. And again, if you come up on a road that's got barricades or there's water, don't even attempt to cross it. We saw three fatalities last night, and I do not want to see any more fatalities. I know a lot of people lost a lot of property and a lot of belongings, but we can replace those. We can't replace people. So please be safe out there today. Again, flash flood watch is up through 8 o'clock tonight. That might get extended. Flash flood warnings are in effect for a big chunk of the 321 corridor, which is right here. Um, and again, let's, let's go in. There's Hickory. Everywhere in here, unbelievable amount of rainfall, and it's still raining up into the mountains. So just be safe out there, folks.